Well, tonight, the Irmo Town Council is considering creating a downtown district. We're not exactly sure when that will happen, but there's talk of it. However, homeowners that live on the property the town is considering buying, they're not ready to give it up. News 19's Rachel Ripp explains. This map from an Irmo Council member shows land that backs up to the Irmo Community Park from Carlisle to Church Street. It's what the town is considering purchasing for a downtown district or Main Street area. Really, that's all that was presented was a business model. And the key to that model was for us to acquire 12 parcels, which is a little bit less than nine acres. And that would secure the payment, the repayment of the money we invested to put in to the road. Councilman Danielson says they would need to invest about $3 million to pave that road at water, sewer and streetlights. He adds that timing is good right now because council has a steady flow of hospitality tax funds to secure a bond and American Rescue Plan Act funds from the federal government. We don't have to have all 12. We don't, you know, whether we decide to move forward without any of the properties, that's another whole decision. The problem is that these homeowners living at these properties tell me they never heard any communication about this plan by council until the council meeting last week. We want to be treated fairly, just like anybody else would, because if you had it, you would do the same thing. Ralph Brannon, one of the property owners, tells me there are about four to five family properties on this land council is considering. He says it's legacy, generational kind of land that's passed down to family like his nephew. My grandma, she just died. She was 98. My great grandfather, I never got to meet him. And he was a, he was a great man. He built, he built everything. He built the house she died in this year in August. Michaela Morgan lives in one of these houses now with her son. I don't think someone would want somebody to come where they're living at and just take it. A place where you lay your head, you want somebody to come take that from you? That's not right. So you should consult with us first before doing that. You always expect some pushback. I didn't expect, I, you know, I don't think anybody on the council expected the, the level of the pushback. Reporting in Irmo, Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX. Well, according to the Irmo mayor, there is a meeting set up for council to speak with some of these homeowners. That's taking place on January 8th at 4 p.m. at the Macedonia Baptist Church.